Hello everyone, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and today we are going to be doing a special review. Um, so, I don't know if any of you have heard, it's brand new. Uh, they just launched an Indiegogo campaign on November 12th, but the Panono um, 360 degree panoramic camera. It's, uh, it's pretty incredible actually. So, um, I emailed them yesterday to find out if I could possibly get the camera to review um but they just have their prototype right now which is understandable because they literally just launched their campaign so instead uh the person i was talk emailing just told me to go ahead and make a video review on based off of the information we have already so obviously we don't have a camera to review but hopefully when they do come out i'll be able to get one in review the better part is i'm going to give you a full review and uh a pre-review I should call it on what we already know and I'm gonna even show you the commercial of their uh, trailer and it's really cool actually and uh, they have a full working prototype that they use in the commercial so let's get to it okay so the Pano Panono camera I apologize um, it's pretty incredible like I said it's a 360 degree panoramic picture so what it does is it launches into the air, you throw it, and when, once it reaches its apex, which is about the highest point it could go uh, until it takes its picture, it will snap a picture out of all of the cameras on the device, okay? So now I believe there's 36 cameras on the Panono ball. And what it does is it takes that picture once it reaches the apex and... Bam, you get a 360 degree view picture of where you were uh, when you took that picture. So really, it's it's kind of a cool memory box kind of thing too because now you could remember that moment or uh, where you were at, maybe a family trip, something like that. So it's actually pretty cool. Now, um, sorry, I may be looking down at my computer to read off a little bit. Uh, the even better part of the Panono camera is they're not low def by any means. In fact, the cameras are uh, 72 megapixels. So if any of you know what that is, that's a really nice uh, camera shot right there. That That's a nice picture. And um, they're completely full resolution, spherical image. Like I said, it's a 360 degree uh, full view of what you saw at that moment. And the cool thing is that they're already starting pre-ordering, okay? So this isn't like, no, I'm just telling you about it and you can't do anything. No, they started pre-orders. So you could go onto the website. In fact, I'll put a link in the description below where you could go check out um, the website and you could go pre-order one of the Panono cameras if you're interested. Um, it seems like it's going to be around $600.00. Uh, in the third quarter of 2014. So uh, by fall of next year, uh, we should have a Panono camera ready. It's going to be about $600. Now regarding price, if you know cameras any bit, you realize that for getting three, 36 cameras on one ball, uh, that's a pretty good price by any means, by any Anyone who knows cameras pretty well, uh, $600 is not too bad for what you get. So what you do is you take the Panono, the ball that has 36 cameras on it, you throw it up into the air, and I think it's a uh, 6 to 8 feet, maybe 10 feet you could throw it without it breaking on the ground. And 8 to 10 feet is pretty high up um, unless you're going to abuse it and just chuck it into the air and throw it as high as you could possibly go and drop it on a hard surface you have a possibility of breaking it but eight to ten feet is a uh, pretty good height for cameras to fly into the air and take a picture um and then it, it's pretty easy from there you throw it up once it reaches its apex bam it takes the picture and I think you could view it on a device too uh, I think once it takes the picture you could view it on through an app that they have I believe not positive on that one but 
Uh, like I said, they're expected to have uh, a full retail Panono camera ready by third quarter, so fall of 2014. And uh, I think that should be pretty cool. Um, I will definitely look into getting it. W once I get an answer on if I could do, like, they could send me it, I will definitely, if I can, do a uh, unboxing video, a review of the camera, and I'll probably even do um, a contest giveaway. Uh, now, don't know what that would be yet, but I probably would do a giveaway for the camera. So definitely keep watching. Um, now, what are we waiting for? Let's check out the trailer of the Panono camera, the official trailer, okay? Right before we do that, I'm also going to put a link to their Indiegogo campaign. If you see interest in this camera after watching the trailer that I'm about to show you, please go on there, at least back them a little bit of money, a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars, something. It helps them get off the ground. It really does. Every backer counts. And uh, their Indiegogo campaign's open for like 40 more days. So definitely encourage you to do that. But let's check out this trailer. There are moments in life that you never want to forget. When you take a picture, you know the place, the people around you, the landscape and the details. A couple of days later, and you will forget most of it. A couple of years later, and you probably can't even remember where the photo was taken. Your memory is gone. Wouldn't it be great to have a camera that captures everything you experience with your friends and family and that lets you and your friends re-experience those moments later? When you spend time with your mates and loved ones, wouldn't it be great to be able to relive the atmosphere of that day? When someone you love creates something great, wouldn't it be nice to discover things that you hadn't even noticed when you took a photo? Hi. I'm Jonas, creator of the Panono camera, a camera that can do exactly these things. It captures everything in every direction all at once and it has a super high resolution of 72 megapixels. It uses 36 tiny but powerful cameras that fire all at once. You just throw it into the air and at the highest point when it is barely moving, it captures a fully spherical panoramic image automatically. To view the images, you simply point the smartphone or tablet in the direction you want to see and move it around. That's amazing, that's absolutely amazing. Nice. We built the original prototype two years ago. Back then it was called Throwable Panoramic Ball Camera. We put a video of it on YouTube, which was viewed nearly three and a half million times. We got a lot of great press coverage, but most importantly, we got thousands of emails from people wanting to buy the camera. At that time and in that form, it was too expensive for mass production. So we sat down to develop a new camera that is small, affordable and producible. Out of the new design. We call it the Panono camera. The camera is tough, so you can throw it in the air and even drop it on occasion. There are several easy ways to use it. Firstly, of course, by throwing it, but you can also put it on a stick and hold it in the air, or simply hold it in your hand and press a button to make a picture. All the panoramic images in this video were shot with our prototype. The new design will have the same functionality, but is much smaller and tougher. I was very much impressed by the 360 degree concept. You catch the moment with all the things around you. Now everybody can discover the whole situation. I support the team to ensure a seamless process from the original idea to the finished series product. We have a working prototype and a great new design. And with your help, we can finish the development and manufacture of the camera by September. Support us and be one of the first to own a Panono camera. Download our app and check out our panoramas and memories.